So we have, you know, worked uh, with Ukraine, partnered with Ukraine since the onset of the, the full-scale Russian invasion in 2022. Uh, the platform has developed enormously with the feedback um, and through the efforts of uh, our partners, our end users, uh, the defenders of Ukraine. The jamming environment is the hardest known on Earth. Uh, the electronic warfare environment is the hardest that's ever existed. Uh, and that has been a number of uh, the issues we've had to overcome have focused in the electronic warfare space. Uh, hardening against GNSS jamming, uh, against spoofing for altitude or location. Uh, so that's been a real focus for us and we've overcome it through a number of hardware and software changes, whether that's through uh, you know, different types of antennas or working in, in different ways uh, for, for the autopilot. We're very uh, forward-leaning and supporting innovation in Ukraine, working with Ukrainian companies. We've also, as Tech Ever, sponsored uh, the um, hackathon for the Machines Offensive 2.0 uh, in partnership with Defence Builder, the Ministry of Defence of Ukraine. Uh, so, you know, we're really, really keen to continue to support innovation, not just for ourselves, but for Ukraine uh, across its entire defence industry. Uh, so the, the AR3 is a 25 uh, kilo uh, platform, a uh, range of you know, up to 250 kilometres, um, uh, endurance in Ukraine of up to uh, eight and a half hours. Uh, it's used, as I said, primarily for long-range, uh, high-value target identification and supports the strikes. We also uh, have another platform in Ukraine, it's the Tech Ever AR5, uh, which is much longer range uh, and does some special missions. We uh, deploy our personnel to train uh, and support uh, Ukrainian operators uh, in Ukraine. Uh, we did training outside of Ukraine initially. Uh, we did training uh, in Ukraine from, from the onset of the conflict, but recognised the real, real importance of being here in Ukraine to support through training and through maintenance uh, our end users. Uh, it wouldn't be possible to support them uh, in the way that we want to, in the way that we need to, without being here alongside them. I think the, the demonstration of the, the technology in the battlefield is, is, is really strong uh, and it's really useful to be able to tell that story, not just how successful it is, but how we've got there, how we've iterated the platform, how we've changed it based on feedback from you know, an environment which changes on a weekly basis. Russian TCPs change every two to three weeks uh, and we have to maintain that agility ourselves, maintain that development uh, speed and trajectory uh, to stay ahead and to, to keep the platform operating. So it's, it's been really important for our own technological development because, you know, the threat that Ukraine is facing and the, the, the challenges that Ukraine are facing could very easily face uh, the rest of Europe uh, in, in very short order.